I bid you welcome. We did it. Scary Mania 3, we have reached the finish line. I'm so glad that I made it this far. It is October 31st. It is Halloween. I hope you all have a great day. And to close things out, let's talk about A Quiet Place Part 2. Out of all the movies to be canceled or pushed back due to due to COVID, A Quiet Place Part 2 was definitely the one that I was the most heartbroken over. That and The Batman. This movie was once again directed by John Krasinski, and unfortunately, this is going to be his last Quiet Place movie for now. It's a shame, but he at least left off on a high because A Quiet Place Part 2 is really good. We do get a flashback to see how this whole thing got into place, which was just terrifying. But then we start, the movie actually starts seconds after Emily Blunt cocks the shotgun. I love that kind of continuity. I love the spirit of that. This movie did a really good thing by having the family leave the house and explore what it's like on the outside world. That was one of the things that I was sitting there watching Quiet Place thinking, you know, I know what happened to this family, but what happened to other families? So it's, it was interest, It was an interesting idea, and I think it was very well realized. Idris Elba was in 28 Weeks Later, and another one of my boys, Killian Murphy, is in here, and he does a really good job, predictably so. But I love his relationship that he has with Emily Blunt and that how he's pretty much Joel from The Last of Us, even though we are getting a Joel from The Last of Us and Pedro Pascal. Really, A Quiet Place Part Two does what I wanted it to do. I wanted it to explore the world around it, see how everyone else dealt with dealt with these aliens coming coming to roost. I also love how the movie kind of left off with how there is a way to actually defeat these things. And I won't spoil it in case you all have not seen it, but it is handled very well, and I am beyond excited for A Quiet Place Part 3. Like I said, John Krasinski will not be involved in that one, which is a tragedy, but... He has set up the chessboard perfectly. It's now up to whoever is in charge to see it through to hopefully an end and hopefully a great Quiet Place trilogy. I sincerely hope. But that is all for Scary Mania 3. Thank you all so much for watching. If you watched one video or if you watched all the videos, I thank you from the bottom of my heart. This was very much a labor of love a lot of time, a lot of effort, watching the movies, researching them, and then, of course, filming and editing and all that. It really does, it, it really, it, I think it's fun. I think it's a lot of fun. And a lot of times I think to myself, oh, it's just really weighing on me. But at the end of the day, I love doing it. And I'm going to continue to do it as long as I can. I hope you all have a happy Halloween, or if you're watching this not on Halloween 2022, I hope you have a nice day. For me personally, my plans are kind of light this year. I think I'm just going to stay in and watch some horror movies, because why not? And one more thing before I close things permanently on Scary Mania 3, I want to thank everyone who collabed with me. This was my biggest year in terms of collabs in Scary Mania, so I'm grateful to everyone Every one of you creators who came on board with me, I want to thank Jacob Martin. I want to thank Brevin from Brevin Switzing Games. I want to thank Cody from the Brock Ops side. And I want to thank Esley from Entertainment Fanatic Reviews. I hope to have you all back on the channel for next Scary Mania or at some point in between. But that is all for me. That is all for Scary Mania 3. Thank you all so much for watching. Have a happy Halloween. And I'll see you in the next one.